where you get your water from? Up next, Nina Sang discusses groundwater, an important part of the city's water supply. Lake Kachuma, our primary source of water. After the recent series of storms, the water level at Lake Kachuma has increased substantially. This is significant because the storage level at Lake Kachuma is an important indicator of the potential for a water shortage. And in spite of the recent rain, the idea of drought and a thirsty Santa Barbara should not be forgotten. Droughts have happened in our area before, and they will happen again. They are a part of the natural weather cycle of the south coast. To prevent a severe water shortage from reoccurring, like it last did 20 years ago, the city of Santa Barbara has established a diverse water portfolio, which includes groundwater. Groundwater is rainfall that has seeped deep into the ground and is stored between rock and particles in the soil. Wells are drilled to collect this water and pumped to the surface for use as drinking and irrigation water. The city of Santa Barbara uses it as a part of its potable water supply and primarily for three reasons. One of these reasons is to meet peak demand. Another is to improve water quality when water demand is high, like during the summer. We also use it during its extended drought periods when our surface water reservoirs are lower. In 2009, groundwater supplied 8% of the city's water. In drought conditions, that number could increase to 20 or 30 percent. And in a disaster, groundwater could play an even bigger role. Currently, the city relies heavily on Gibraltar Reservoir and Kachuma Lake for potable water. But this water must flow through tunnels in the mountains, and these tunnels have collapsed before. And in the event of a catastrophic interruption of our water supply, we'll use that to provide what could be the only potable water source on this side of the mountain. One of the benefits of groundwater is that it typically requires less processing. Generally, groundwater requires a little less treatment in most cases because the water comes from underground and there's less contamination and mineral com composites. Um, in the lower part of our downtown basins, there is more hydrogen sulfide and that has to be specially treated. Those downtown wells are currently not in use because of the processing required. We have nine wells that could be used. Four of them are connected to the Ortega groundwater treatment plant, which is inactive now because it's, um, it's in need of rehabilitation. To meet current, stricter water standards, a complete rehabilitation of the Ortega groundwater treatment plant is necessary. Plans for the upgrade are in the final design stage and construction is planned to begin soon. But if groundwater is so great, why doesn't the city use more of it? It's not an unlimited source. There's only a certain amount of usable storage in the groundwater basin, so we have to time our usage according to when it's best used. It's a relatively inexpensive source compared to other sources of water, um, but it's not unlimited, so we have to pace ourselves on how we use it. And only a limited number of locations are suitable for wells. Based on geologic data, we want to look for areas where there's a lot of sand and gravel deep that can store water in the pockets between the sand and gravel. Uh, that's typically a good place to put a well. The city continually works to keep its wells in good condition. This is important so that they will be ready when we need them, either during drought or some other water supply interruption. Even though it's a small percentage of our total usage, it's important for a number of reasons that, that justify the effort that we put into it. For more information on groundwater, visit the city's website at santabarbaraca.gov forward slash water.